Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun root. <laughs> Let's try that again. Take two. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, today I'm going to be using uh, the Steampunk Tarot. I had to think about it for a second. Now with all that being said, let's get it. Inverse, what is going on for Leos? What message do we have for the Leos? message do we have for the Leo's universe? Let's get four more shuffles for Leo's. All right, Leos. First thing I see, Leos, is this, this, there's this energy around you. There is someone. There is someone that has definitely got their focus on you. This is someone that sees a lot of potential in this connection. Now, I feel like this may be someone that you already know. I don't feel like you already have necessarily a relationship, but I do see a friendship. So I feel like this is someone that you may have just met or someone that you already know. Um, but I feel like it starts off more in a friendship. You know, I feel like there's a very friendly vibe, but I feel like this person is definitely looking for more. You know, they, you have their undivided attention. You know, they see a lot of potential here. Now, this is causing this person to want to take things to the next level, to something a little bit more serious. But first, this person, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there is a... In, in, that was... I don't even know what that was. <laughs> There is definitely a sense that this person wants to gain your trust before approaching you with a more serious offer. This person wants you to know that you can depend on them, that you can trust them. You know, there's a very, very confident energy with this person, very authoritative figure. I mean, we have the King of Wands, that Leo energy. Uh, we have the King of Swords as well. I just feel like this person is very confident in what they have to offer. They're very confident in who they are and they see the potential in you. So they're very confident in pursuing this. I mean, they know what they want. I mean, we have the two of wands. They know exactly what they're looking for. You, you fit the bill, you check all the boxes. So because of that, this person is going to nurture this connection uh, with that Aquarius star card. The star, the star card is that Aquarius energy. It's all about nurturing. It's all about seeing it through. You, you're thinking about a person that not only plants the seed, but stays very close to keep watering it, uh, to keep make sure it gets the sunlight. You know, it's all about seeing it through. 
It's not just about throwing some seed somewhere and leaving them and see what happens in 10 years. This is all about they're planting the seed to see where this is going. You know, and they're going to take care of it because they see the potential here. Um, I mean, I feel like this person is fiercely loyal. So that's, that's one of the things they're going to want you to see by gaining your trust. Um, they're going to want to try new things with you. You know, really explore. And I just, I, I don't mean that necessarily just in a, in a physical sense, sexually. Now, I don't mean it's not part of it, but I feel like they want to explore a lot of new things with you. Um, they're going to want to take you out. They're going to want to, you know, do things. And, and one of the things I see in this person is the fact that they are confident. And they're so confident that I feel like they don't mind giving you the lead once in a while, letting you take charge. I feel like that's actually something that they they look forward to. You know, because they do want to move forward with this. It's because they know what they want. They see what, what, what they want right in front of them. And I feel like the more they're around you, the more they see you, the more they realize they're not walking away from this. So there's only one other choice. You know, some people have that fight or flight choice. Not this person. They're going to fight for this. They're going to give it everything they got with that five of wands. They're going to fight for you. Because you're exactly what they've been waiting for. And, and like I said, I mean, they're, they're confident um, to the point where they're not threatened. You know, this, you know, sometimes we meet people that want us to dress a certain way or they want us to be you know tone down our, our our energy a little bit this person doesn't want to tone you down at all they don't they're not threatened you can dress any way you want you can show off as much skin or as little skin as you want they don't care if other people are looking they're not focused on anybody else but you that's part of the what you're getting with this person and that confidence. I mean, this person's thinking about you and only you. They're not worried about anybody else. They don't care if anybody else looks at you. Now, if somebody tries to touch you, that may be a different thing. Uh, because I do feel like there is that fierceness in them. Um, but like I said, it is, it is something that um, I feel like this person is going to be very open with you. And it's going to be a very fearless energy. Like I said, they're not threatened. Um, they're going to want to be very, you know, there's just something about you that makes them open up. You know, and it's, like I said, I mean, it is, it is to the point where um, you have their attention. They're going to want to be open and honest with you. And I feel like there is that fearlessness in them that when they want something, they go after it wholeheartedly. Um, you know, and they are going to chase you. And even if you say no the first time, I feel like that's not going to deter this person because they know there's something here. Now, I feel like there's a spark that you already feel with this person. So it's not going to be that much of a, of a task for this person to convince you. But it doesn't mean you can't make them sweat a little bit. Now, like I said, I mean, um, this person isn't threatened by other people, um, but they will defend you if need be, which usually Leos don't really need defending. But if you need someone to have your back, this is your person. They'll have your back. They'll be there for you. Now, what I said earlier about that forward movement, um, not being able to walk away and, and seeing the potential like I said, they're going to want you to trust them first. That's going to be paramount. Before they make that move, they're going to want you to trust them. And once they know they have your trust, that's when they make you an offer. And it's going to be a serious offer. Um, look for some cute romantic gestures from this person as well along the line. Um, I do feel like this person, like I said, they're going to want to take you out. They're going to want to try new things with you. But they're also going to want to try things that you want to try. Like I said, letting you take the lead. They're not threatened by, by that. 
You know, some people always got to be in control and always got to have... That's not this person. They're confident enough in their own skin. They have, you know, they're they're smart. Um, they know what they have. They know what you got. They want it. They want to be next to you. And like I said, I mean, this is someone that is going to let you be you. They don't want to change you. You know, all they want to do is bring to your life, not take away. You know, they, they will defend you. They will show up for you. Um, this person wants to build a foundation with you. And like I said, it, it is something um, they're going to put all their effort into that. And I feel like even, even after, you know, they're going to continue to do that. They're not looking to, to bullshit you in any way. I mean, I feel like they're going to be very direct with you. You know, they want to pet the lion. You know, the, some people can be intimidated by Leos. I know, well, I'm a Leo rising. And I get the whole, um, you know, I'm a Sagittarius sun, sun, moon, and a Leo rising. I have a lot of fire in me, and I get that sometimes we can be intimidating. But the right person isn't going to be intimidated by us. Not as, Not that much. Maybe a little bit. But we need that type of person in our life. Someone that can handle the fire. You know, we don't want someone that comes in and gets burned. You know, that's not, that's not where we want to be. We want someone that understands and appreciates us. Someone that, you know, gives us the attention. Like I said, when this person's with you, it's like nobody else is there. Because you have their undivided attention. Their focus is on you. Now, not to say this person's always going to be clingy and want to be with you. But when they are with you, they're with you. Um, another thing with this person, I feel like they're, they're going to listen. They're very good at listening. A lot of people say they're good listeners, but they're not. Some people say that, you know, um, they understand what you're saying when they don't. This is not that person. They understand. They're listening. You know, there's a difference between listening and hearing. Uh, some people listen to us, but not everybody hears us. This person hears you. <laughs> Petting a lion. I like that. Now, I feel like one of the things that really gels is I feel like it's this person this person's uh love language is going to be physical touch and i feel like it's really going to gel with you because i feel like yours is that way as well um you know i feel like experiencing new things like i said it isn't only going to be physical but it doesn't mean it's not it doesn't mean there's not going to be some physical in there because i do see a lot of passionate energy here you know this person is loyal passionate and confident and that's a great partner you know that's a great um, you know, compliments a Leo very well. Um, all the Leos I know, they'll give you the shirt off their back, but appreciate them for it. You know, that's all they want. When I, when I do something for, anyway, we'll get, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, with this person, we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. We have some Scorpio as well. Um, I do get a little bit of Virgo in there too. What I was going to say is I'm like that, you know, in my life, that's where the Leo comes out of me. I'll do anything for you. You know, I will do things. I will, you know, I will do things for people asking nothing but a thank you. You know, I'll come paint your whole damn house. I don't need money. I just want appreciation. I want you to thank me for it. And a lot of people say, oh, you got to pet the lion. You got to, you know, always appreciate. Why the hell not? I'm going to take my time, do something for you. And all I'm asking for is two words. Thank you. <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know, I mean, uh, it's like Virgos go out of their way and don't want the appreciation. They don't ask for it. That's fine. But as a Leo, you know, 
Leos are fiercely loyal. And for their friends, for their family, for people, even people they don't know, they'll do shit for them without question. All you got to do is say thank you. Now, would you rather someone do something for you and expect a handout for it? Hey, I just painted your house. Give me a thousand bucks. Or would you want someone that's going to come paint your house and say, hey, just say thank you. You know, or not not saying that. <laughs> I don't want to put that out there. Um, not every, I'm not saying everybody's going to come paint your house. I'm just saying, you know, you need a lift to work one day. You call me up, you know, the night before and say, hey, tomorrow, I really need a lift to work. I'll show up for you. But when we get there, hey, man, thanks. And maybe in the future, if I ever need something, I can call you. That's it. That's all. You know, I don't expect you to throw a parade for me. If you want to, I'll show up. But <laughs> that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with just wanting a little appreciation. You know, if someone's going to go above and beyond for you, just appreciate me. Now, with this person, that's what you're getting. You're getting someone that does appreciate you. Someone that does show up for you. Someone that gives you what you desire. What you're offering them. Now, a real partner for a Leo is someone that's going to show up for you, too. You know, you Leos don't want to be the only ones putting themselves out there. You know, especially in their intimate relationships. You know, and I always thought it was funny, um, even with even with my family. Um, you know, my cousin called me the other day and she said, you know, I, I need some money. And I was like, how much you need? And she said, it's kind of a lot. I'm like, how much you need? And she told me. And I said, okay, I'll send it to you. No problem. She's like, I don't know when I can pay it back. I said, don't worry about it. Pay me back when you can. Don't leave yourself short. You know, I don't mind helping you out because... For, for plenty of reasons, because my mentality is I put out good karma. You know, I, I do good things for people because I hope that one day if I ever in, in dire need, someone will show up for me. And I can't expect that without putting out some good energy. And she's family and she's always been a good person to me. We talk regularly. It's not like she just called me out of the blue after 20 years and said, hey, any money. Um, but anyway, and she was honest with me. She said, I don't know when I can pay you back. I'm like, that's fine. You know, it's all good. And she's like, thank you. I really appreciate it. That's all the payback I probably would need. Now, if she tries to give me money back in a couple months or a year, I might take it. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But the fact that she went out of her way to say thank you, I really appreciate it meant the world to me. That's not too much to ask. You know, so I feel like Leo's get a bad rep sometimes. You know, I, I want you to acknowledge the fact that I've done that for you. I want you to acknowledge the fact that you can count on me. And that's not too much to ask. But like I said, it's... Um, my grandfather taught me something when I was very young too, and that's another reason why... I'm not very stingy when it comes to money or things. Like, if you need help moving, I'll help you move. I'm not stingy with that. Because my grandfather always said, everything you put out will come back to you someday. And I don't do it for that. I do it so that I don't do bad shit, so the bad shit comes back to me someday. And if I can do something for you, I'm going to do it. You know, I, one of my neighbors, I don't even know the guy. He was moving one day. I went over and helped him move. He offered to make me a meal. I took him up on it. It was pretty good. We had cabbage rolls. I'm pretty sure he's Ukrainian. And I'm pretty sure that's a big meal there. Not really sure because he didn't really speak a lot of English. And I didn't want to ask him because I know Ukrainians, a lot of Ukrainians do speak Russian. And right now it's probably not the time to mix them up. But regardless, the look on his face was enough. The fact that he didn't, he was trying to lift a couch out of his house into a truck. 
by himself. What kind of what kind of person would I be if I let him do that by himself? The fact that he offered me a meal was the appreciation that I, uh, that's all I needed. But that's the thing, having someone that shows up and appreciates you, and like I said, them being not threatened is 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 great. Um, I know I'm going a little long with story time, but I have one more little quick story that I wanted to say about being not threatened. Um, my buddy, real good buddy of mine, his girlfriend is a stripper. She's been a stripper for a few years now. And I always was curious. I'm like, doesn't that bother you? And not that I, I mean, I never, I've never dated a stripper. So I don't know. I just, I've, I've been to a few strip clubs and I see how other creepy guys look at the girls. I never, I never really liked strip clubs because I just, I find there's a lot of creepiness going on, going on. But um, anyway, I just, I asked him, I said, like, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with the, he's like, I know what I got. She knows what I got. She knows what she's getting when she gets home. And I love that about him. I mean, not threatened at all. And uh, I'm not saying go date strippers. I'm not saying not to go date strippers. I'm just saying sometimes I wonder. Same as like when it comes to porn stars and stuff. Like that, that you know, there's one one girl I remember. I watched this documentary and she was doing an interview with her, and her husband was there. And I was thinking like, he's not a porn star. Like, I just some people live a different lifestyle than me, and I, I and I appreciate that. I just I'm a little bit more of a jealous type. I don't know if I can handle it. That's just me being open, vulnerable, and honest with you. Um, I don't know. No, I never, I've never, like, with Rose, I've never, she's worn clothes that was revealing. I That didn't bother me. I don't care if guys look at her. I know where she's going at night. But it's, I feel like the stripper, the porn star, that is a little bit different. Strippers, not so much. I mean, you're just showing up here. Mostly just the top half. I mean, the bars that are around here anyway. And I mean, every girl's got a pair. So even guys got, some guys got a pair too. I mean, I'm adult enough that that really doesn't bother me. I think the lap dance part bothers me. But if if, if I was dating a stripper, I think the lap part, the lap dance part would bother me. Um, now the porn star, I feel like that's a little bit, I hold the intimacy very important and very personal. Some people are freer with that. God bless you. <laughs> but anyway, I want uh, uh, when I thought of the non-threatening earlier, I thought of him. Because this, this guy, he can go there and have a few drinks while his girlfriend's up there half naked. Guy's throwing money at her. And it didn't bother him a bit. And another thing he said, he said, I know where she's going. She knows what she's got at home. And all that money she's making goes into our bank account. <laughs> I'm like, fair enough, man. Fair enough. But anyway, I know my story time went a little long today, but it is what it is. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.